So fam, welcome to another Mafia Definitive Edition. We just finished the first three chapters of the game. And in case that you missed any of the previous episodes, you can still catch up by checking out the playlist in the description down below. Thank you guys for all the support. I love you. Let's go. Ordinary routine. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on, I <laughs> got what did you I know? Finish it all. You, Tommy? Are we already yeah. made? The boss is waiting for you. Thanks. Oh, okay, Salieri is waiting for us. Let's go. X. Uh, meet with Salieri. What's this? Oh, it's here. There he is. Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ralphie, we're looking for a Ralphie. Oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. No. Probably just wants to tell you something. We might get armed again. Let's meet Vinny. Let's go see him. Vincenzo. Hey, just the guy. Hey, there's a magazine there. Let's and check I that out. You. What's this? Hmm. Dime detective. Okay. Take the gun. Of course. You ever carry a rod? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Go. Oh, this target here? Good posture. Real meat bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay. Now show me a reload. Not at me, you moron. I opened the chamber and away you go. Reload. All right. Last thing. Needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. Okay. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, Thanks, bro. The Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Vinny. Vinny? Let's talk to Ralph here. Hopefully, he pimped the car. The one we brought him. Look, you guys need to be careful. Dino Scar, I guess. What's this? First year since the crash. Since the Wall Street thing? Yeah. The worst panic in the Wall Street. Mm hmm. Now let's talk to Vinny. I mean, you, Ralphie. You know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Hmm. Oh, we're being taught to pick a lock. Let's try this. Show me what you can do. Okay. No, you that's it. You uh, it. There's no mini game. Have a good day, for fellas. Yo, this car is silent, I guess. Oh. It's not yet started. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, yeah there you it. are. Al's late again? So. so. Eh, that's too bad. Let's get out of this place. 
I really like the vibe of this, uh, you know, the mafia, the time, the era. I wish I could time travel and visit and experience this um, time. It seems like the vintage thing, you know. I like it. I like the vibe. Now let's go to the first collection. What's this supposed to... Or what job are we supposed to do here? Are we going to wax some dude? Or just some regular collection business? Okay, this is Are it. we some kind of lo loan shark? Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Okay. Let's go then. Enter the bakery. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! Not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. What's this? Bartorelli. Christopher Martino. Mm, agreed loan, okay. Real good. Now you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al. I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia without payment? You gonna get the dough or what, Tom? No, oh, I mean, uh, uh, my bad. I was Tommy all along. What's this? Oh, a magazine? Cigarette card? Where's the money? Brown envelope. There. The only Italian name, uh, I mean, word I, I understand was the sangue. I guess that means blood, right? Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your ma. Huh? Let's go back to the car. Ooh, the brightness. Let's enter the car and let's move out. Let's go, Sammy. Yes, sir. Yes. Where are we headed to now? Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. China store. His nephew's taking over. Let's overtake this car. It's quite slow. The guy used to run this next <laughs> place, Tom. His name's not Eugene. The guy's a Chinaman. But it sounds like Eugene. Well, that's what we called him. Polly slammed his China? head into the counter back in, what, 27, I think? <laughs> We're about yeah, to meet hilarious. some Chinese men, I guess. No problems at all. If you look, you can still see the blood. Poor old bastard couldn't scrub it out. Yo, what's her brothers? Oh, my. Uh, we keep some of these guys on our books to remind the Chinatown gangs they're in our city, not theirs. But we don't know Eugene's nephew, so he might need reminded too. I guess we need to collect some money with some quite of trouble now. Since the Chinatown, jeez. Chinatown. It's always present in all country, I guess. There's a Chinatown in every country. Even it might even be present in every town in the in the Philippines. In every city, there's a Chinatown there. I'll cover this one, Sam. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. 
Are you going to be He's doing the store on his own? In some kind of yeah, trouble? Polly's built up a little steam and he's to let it out on his own. She gotta let him get on with it. It's his way. You can hear it in his voice. Gotta let him lone wolf from time to time. Keeps him happy. Gives him happy? Oh. There's some kind of yeah, Eugene's trouble nephew there. Ain't having much fun right now. When he's going, Polly don't stop. Once I hope they will be over in doing some Guy martial arts on Polly. <laughs> What's taking so long, Polly? Yo. Oh, it's done. Here he comes. He's a fast worker. Is he? Is the nephew of Eugene still alive? Drive before the cop show, Tom. Hopefully. Next stop's Bill at the motel. Eugene's nephew's guy's money is ours next week, with some extra besides. He doing okay? He's okay. How's the shop counter? Yeah, that's seen some more blood. How much oh. blood? And nothing he can't scrub out. Once he's back on his feet. Oh, he, he beat him up. <laughs> you wanna come out with us again, Tom? Get to hear even more about Chinese nephew guys scrubbing their own blood out of shop counters. Yeah, seems like it's not too hard. Not hard. Kind of not hard. I don't know. Comes natural to you guys. Don't see why it can't come natural to me. So anyone could do this. Me and Polly, we've been working these streets for years. You come in and you think you know it all. I'm not saying that, Sam. I... You've been a day on the job, pal. You haven't seen what we do. You haven't seen how we do it. Sam, I think you oughta... No, Polly. This punk thinks he can walk in here like a big shot. I put greasers like him in the ground. I think you gotta say you're sorry, Tom. Sorry, <laughs> There's huh? a well, trouble with these reds. If I couldn't see the bullshit smile you're trying to hide. <laughs> you got him, though, Sam! You got him! <laughs> I could smell the no, crap in your pants was a from prank, here. Though. Nah, you didn't get me. <laughs> when little Tony first came out with us, I had him on his knees before he knew I was yanking his chain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did better than him anyways. They're pranking their colleagues, their brothers. So we're heading in Jesus. a motel. I, I guess this is city. much more you hate it most secure. Places. Yeah, but we might here, have worse. some hard time a collecting so the money. Out of town on our books. Out of town's the safest place for deals. The safest place for card games. The safest place oh. for most of the things we do. Oh, let's go. We're expecting we made a big that. bag of money today. The guy owes. If it ain't big, the boss will be pissed. Yeah, this place is a real earner. Oftentimes the places that get you the most dough are the ones most people don't look at twice. Just recently the motels had a new lease twice. of life. Last stop before Lost Heaven for rum coming up from Cuba. They drive it this far. Hey. Sure they do. And that's how we can sell it so if you expensive. Are, you can get it and you know you have to get it. Salieri protects that's it, but he lets the other families right use there. it too. Even Morello? To keep the peace? Sure. Plus it's far enough away that no one cares. So long as everyone's making money, no one's gonna rock the boat. What boat, brother? What boat? Anyone else starting to miss the side of streets and sidewalks? You not one for the great outdoors, Polly? He's not one for anything. Indoors, outdoors, in the city, out of the city. I hate it out here. Like when we sit in the field doing some booze handover or something. It's always knee deep in shit and most times it's dark and cold as hell. That's why it's good we got you now, Tom. You can do hey, all the jobs. Almost there. Okay, there it is. Finally. Wait for us here, Tom. So we'll I'm going to wait. Okay. Hope you'd be faster. Paul! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capish? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam. They're trying to beat information out of him. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. 
Okay. Okay, just hang on. Oh, Sam's is in an, in trouble. Let's go help him. Yo, this is locked, I guess. Let's find some other way to get inside. Hopefully it's near. Oh, we need to sneak. Oh, shush. Can't even remember the last time I pulled this trigger. Oh, there's someone up there. Treats me like some goddamn half. -pick. Let's try to sneak Over attack this. Hey. Oh. Sit down, dude. Can I get your ammo? Guess not. Where are they? Can we loot some guns in here? Oh, there's a shotgun here. Okay. I'm so used to looting in the um, Resident Evil. We used to loot every uh, nooks and corners there. this can I have some bullets there's nothing guess we need to go down what's in here oh there's a collection something in here a, a comics what else is in here oh there's an an icon of a bullet here I guess that's that. Oh, someone's going up. Someone there. Let's try to visit this one. Get it. Sit down. Oh. I'll open you up. See you bleed. Sit down. Oof. Brother. I didn't mean to pop your head, but gonna lay you out. Come here, brother. Oh, oh. Hey, get this guy oh. off me! Boom. Sit down. He has some knife. Is someone there? Hey. Eat the take cover. Sit down. Ooh. Boom. Let's go. Oh, let's do swap covers. Okay. Roberto Gilotti for Council 1930. Is this a. Oops. Hmm. Sit down, dude. There's someone in here. Come on, get him. Oh. Come on, brother. Hmm. Reload. Sit down, dude. Swap to a revolver. Oh, I don't like that idea. Or is it much stronger? If this uses the same bullets then I might pocket revolver secret revolver okay it's using the same ammo oh wait is it in another room let me check first Saw this. Oh, this and this is the ammo. Where is the? Oh, the first aid is here. Very nice. Can how can we mm, use the? Hmm. I don't have any idea yet. Oh, we're full. 
Our health is full. Sam, oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ! Uh, come on, you'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh shit! Uh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard! Are you going to chase him? Oh shit! Okay. We need to drive then. Get the money! Oh, is that is that a faster car or? Let's go. Let's chase him. I'll be to shoot while driving. Okay. Can I change the? Uh... Oh, we have enough uh, infinite bullets, so I can shoot every time. Oh, there's another one there. Let's go. We're accurate. Mm -hmm. It's smoking now. I can do this. Let's shoot him. This car is much faster. Even when we're going downhill now. Oh, we're catching up. Oh. Oh. So should I have car? Oh. Sit down, dude. Nice. There's another one there. Boom. Sit down, dude. And we get your ammo. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. So what's going to happen here? But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. Oh, that's it? Nice. Ordinary routine. Chapter complete. Intermezzo. 1938. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? I felt like... I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, I wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared him to look in the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Joey Crackers. Who's that guy, though? The way I hear it. Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. Man. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! It's pissed. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, dumb. Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't oh, never buddy. been in no accident. Well, 
Repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. His grill's a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin I got... <laughs> That would have hurt so much. I mean, uh, you could have died so already. So much fun yet, tail pal. You got an informant right there. Says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect, small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Kind of fun though, Tommy. Fair play, hmm. 1932. Tommy. Thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Yeah. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the Junkers to Gow jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You'll go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah. So we're stealing a car? As soon as you're ready. Mm. Sure That's thing. new, nice. I like it. Feels like Fast and Furious. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Uh, what's this? Rafi? Hey, T -T Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Got to send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is. Then look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, L -L Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju -Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B -B Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy... He's an ass. No, oh, we need to return oh, the hey, car hey, fast. If you need somewhere to keep your motor safe where no one can take them. Feel free to use the garage. Carlo got around to clear it 
it out. Thanks. Good to know. Okay. Just release this scratch and put there these. Oh, we own 37 already? Smith. This is better than the other one? Yep. I think it is. V8. It got V8. Hit the horse bars. Oh, wait, what? What happened? Wait a minute. Hmm. Let's use this one. Vehicles are added to the garage by driving them. Nice. Meet the guard at the racetrack. Okay, let's meet Bobby here. Ooh. The night feels much better in this game. There's some wet roads in here. Which is very nice. Uh, accompanied by the lights. It's good. I like it. Hey, the car is just lighting. I like this car. It has V8 engine. <laughs> I also like cars in real life, you know. Uh, by the time that this record uh, this uh, what do I call this video get post to YouTube. I think the new Jamira car of Koenig's I guess being released. This is out of the topic also, but you, Bobby, you know, yep. I'm a car guy. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. This is Bobby here. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. Tomorrow we morning they start Bobby. coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. Let's go to the garage. They're fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Hey. Name a better place to pick up a thing than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. We're going to the garage. Okay, this is it. I was talking to the Jamira of Koenigsegg. Yeah, because, you know, fun boy here. Fun fact. Here Yo, is. is this the car? 1929 nice. Carazella C Series. Best in class. Carazella. It's a shame you gotta wreck it. If they see this down the road, cops are gonna ask questions. When they catch up, sure. Try to keep it one piece, too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30. Before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. <laughs> the next guy is an ass. <laughs> I hope there's no cops following us in this mission. But hey. Oh no. This car is very fast, but it's very slippery, you know. The acceleration is quick. Oh, it's flying all over the place. Uh, speaking with cars, uh, I haven't watched the Ford versus Ferrari movie, but. I have always wanted to see that movie. It's about racing and the uh, rivalry of Ford and Ferrari and 
the 20, for, uh, early 20th century. So, you want to see that. Yo. Cars are, all, I, I mean, cups are already on our ass here. So we need to go to Louis Lucas. Fast. Oh no. The braking of this car is bad. I mean, this car is from the early 20th century, so I can't really complain about it. But hey, it's, it feels nice. Oops, it's here. Hey. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay, drive careful. Hey, oops, oh, here we go now. Oh, we need to uh, keep a limit on the revving of this car, but it indicates the temperature, so but it feels about the revving, so let's check. A uh, very careful way in this one. It does miss the baby. Sorry. Oh, I bumped the police car. That was my fault. Let's go. I can really. Rev this car, oh no. I can really rev this car high. Unlike the first time we drove it. All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. This feels like a most wanted game all of a sudden. Yo, it. It feels different now than the first time we drafted. it. The steering is also kind of loose, but I don't know. Oh, what's this? Oh. Come on, no burgers. Why would you block the road that way? A car feels weird. Oops! We're almost at the limit there. Let's go up here. Oh. there oh it feels very uh slidey it suddenly feels like a drift car
Oh no. <laughs> Good to go. Drives like a jalopy. Okay, let's get out. Big day tomorrow. Let's go. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's going to hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What's this crazy that? bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just got to make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom. You got the moment. Oh. Sheer Frank. We've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. There's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Yo, we're going to drive. We're going to race. <laughs> From Europe, we got the hotshot favorite, Martin Lichtenberg, taking some time out of the International Series to compete with us today. Got some news from the grid here. Lost Heaven local favorite, Mikey Dunn, is out. Replacing him is, uh, Tommy Angelo. Well, I'm sure you'll all join me in wishing him good luck. Tommy Angelo. They're We're lined back. up on the grid. We're They're at the back the of the grid. Oh, no. Me too. Catch up real fast. We're on the 16th position. Oh, someone's blew up their engine there. Oh, shush. Oh, we're on the half of the grid now. Hoping for the pole position here. This is a nice mission here. Hey, I'ma pass you, boys. Jesus. Let me, let me do the bomb here. Ah, We're fifth already. Oh. There's three laps. We're on the pole position already. Nice. Hope we can catch up to this guys. Oh shush. <laughs> Come on, brother. Get off the way. I'm faster. Oh. Oh no. Oh, we did all that for the show. Let's go. Good thing there's no half in this car. We can ram it up as, as much as we, we want. Hey, we're drifting. Ooh, we lost a lot of grip there. Oh, the first guy is running away. But we can catch him by drafting, I guess. Hey, let me draft, let me draft. Oh, Oh no, we're very aggressive here. Hopefully we don't lose position. Oh no. We lost two positions there. Let's do the inside. Let's go, we're first. Nice. Let's control this race already. We're drifting. 
Mikey Dunn. This guy is a fine replacement. Hey, let's go. We're better than Mikey. I know that. There's a sharp curve here. I mean, turn. Oh no. Leading. Hey, let's go. Oops. Hey, nice. Hey, let's go. Mm -hmm. One more lap, one more lap. Let's go. They're very far away from us. We're killing this race. Hey, there's a sharp turn here. Oh, a beam. Oh, no. We're still on front. Let's suck up all this clean air here. Hopefully we can run away. Hey. They are no match for us. With this red car. We kill it. Taylor, Anderson, Angelo, all still in the mix with time still left to go. Ooh. Oh no. Nice. We're still far from the others. Angelo is oh, no. Can he hold on? Oh no, what a mess. Oh sheesh. Oh no. I messed up. No. I guess we're going to restart this game. Oh no. I should have taken the safe way. But hey. Oh shush. We're very far. And it's almost them. Man. Let's restart the race. I need a bad job at last lap. Oh. What do you call me? An amateur. This is my first race. Technically a second, but you know what I mean. And I'm still beating most of you guys. Oh shush. You're kidding me! Angelo there. Hey. Can he hold on? We made it. Is the engine sounds V8? I don't know. Kinda sounds like V8. Newcomer Tommy Angelo is still out in front. Hey, we are a newcomer and we're smoking this guys. There's a sharp curve here. Let's go. We made it. This is the corner that messed up, messed us up last time. And we're over it. Without the sweat. Of course. This is easy peasy. Hey. We're almost there, nice. Nice and nice too. And they are very far away from us. Let's go, smoke them. We made it, hey, we made Tommy. it. Hey, Tommy! There's <laughs> our winner! Hey, Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. 
I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure. Thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morell's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You've earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and horse. Something, huh? Cheers. Nah, but uh, maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so drinks are on you. <laughs> oh. You bet on <laughs> the other guys? Not on top? Yeah. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy Polly. He's so drunk, he's gonna get hit by a parked car. Yeah, okay. I'll get him home safe. Yeah, we need to look for Polly here. Your Rough. mama made that work easy to Tommy. When they starts to started racing here 20 years ago, most guys did it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I need to look for ah, Polly. Magic's in the motor. Might cut you off. I just showed her where to go. Here's Not Frank we here. Just put my daughter through another year at school, Tom. Hey. Okay, Anything Richard. for the Coletis. Great race, champ. We we need to look for Polly here. Guess that's Sam. Yo, Sam. Where's Polly? Great race. You got some Sam. lady. Hey, last time I saw you drive like that, Tom, I had a gun to your head. You saying there wasn't one today? <laughs> this your first time at the track? Last year I heard the motors from my apartment, but that's a close. Is this Lucas, right? No, yeah. This is Lucas. How'd you drive after the tuna? Tried to go sidelong at a five brick walls, but we made it. You seen Polly any place? This five minutes ago, maybe. Look like you had a smile. I'm detective. Room. Sounds about right. Thanks, Lucas. I've been asked by the LHPD to remind all race goers that the sale and consumption of alcohol Where is, is Polly. We need to look for him. Where is he? Where are you, Polly? To make any more troubles there. Oh, there's someone here. I guess that's Paul. Oh, Christ, you're here. If your friend keeps this up, the other guy's gonna send the cops over. Yeah, I think Polly's big day <laughs> at the tracks over. <clears throat> Yo, there's Polly here. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you gotta go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect! Well, that's true, but I'm saying you gotta go home too, before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. <laughs> Let's go, Jim. <laughs> Let's go, Polly. Get in the car. Oh, it's here. Let's become Polly's chauffeur for now. You did real good today, Tommy, with the the driving. I was right. I was right when I found you. You know what I said? What did you say, Polly? I said this guy can drive, Don Salieri. This is a guy who can drive. And here we are. <laughs> here we are. It's very drunk. Right here. That's where we are. You put me to shame, Tom. Look at you. Now you're even a some kind of race car driver. 
We all got our... You're doing real good since you joined the family, but you know you got it easy, right? <laughs> Me and Sam, we keep the real stuff from you. That right, huh? You don't know what it's like. Hey. You get the call to see the dawn and your minds race. And... Done some bad shit, Tom. We're all in this together. I do what the Don asks when he asks it. Just like you. You're like me, you can't just shut it down. Blank it out like Sam does. Go home to... He does. He'll drunk. Home to. He's stranding. You're drunk. You're gonna have to clam <laughs> up for your own sakes. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yo, there's a cup here. Let's follow this. Tom, I wanna go with the lady. Uh, hey, I'm not happy with that today. Take me to the ladies. Take me to the blue tropics. I don't know. I gotta take you home. The bridge. Take the bridge over to the island. Take me to the ladies. <laughs> take me to those sweet patooties. Two ones. Taking you home seems but more classy. Game. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe that's yeah, a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> well, okay, I'm gonna. It feels like a baby. Sweet dreams, tough guy. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I don't feel <laughs> so good. Hey, that's it. Nice. If you liked the video, please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. I don't think I'm ready, no, not for that jelly, my honey, like we need a pool.